Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about three deadly landmines that cause mortgage professionals to work longer and harder for less. Too much squeeze, not enough juice. Too much toil and not enough zeros and commas in your bank account. And unfortunately, this is a common plight in this industry. I see this time and time again. I've been coaching mortgage pros for 17 years, as many of you know. And so I'm no stranger to seeing talented, well-intended, very gifted, hardworking, beautiful human beings who get their ass kicked and work way too long for way too little because of these landmines. So I decided, let's just get them on the table. Let's shine the light on these landmines so that Hopefully, I can rattle some cages and uh, wake some people up so that you guys don't step on these landmines. Because frankly, if I can just help one person avoid these landmines, one person avoid the unnecessary strife and stress and struggle of uh, doing it the hard way with these landmines, I feel it's worth my time, energy, and effort dedicated into this episode. So let's get into it and do it, shall we? The first landmine that will blow off your appendages, that will blow off your opportunities for profit, that will cause you to work longer and harder for less, is a lack of a plan. It's often been said that if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And there's a lot of truth to that, because if you're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife, unequipped, ill-equipped, with a lackluster, limp plan, you're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get bludgeoned. It will not bode well for those who have a lackluster fly by the seat of your pants plan where you're just throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks. That tends not to work very well. So here's what lack of a plan looks like. It looks like relying on your company uh, to kind of just get you equipped with knowing how to do loans, but no one's there to support you on how to do the marketing. No one's there to support you on how to do the lead generation. The most important piece of the equation, of course, is generating the leads because it doesn't matter how great you are at finding a home for the loan and getting the deals done. If you have no leads, you're dead in the water. Unfortunately, most of these mortgage companies out there, they don't engineer their coaching and training in light of that truth. So they kind of tack it on as an afterthought. And usually the managers are crazy busy. They're, they're producing managers and they're doing a shit ton of business and they just don't have time to teach you or the stuff they're teaching you is from the dark ages from like 20 years ago and the stuff that worked for them then 20 years ago just doesn't work anymore. So you're working with outdated information that worked for the veteran but doesn't work for the newbie. So a lack of plan looks like confusion, overwhelm, lack of direction. You kind of probably feel a bit like you've been thrown into the wilderness unarmed and naked without a GPS, without a roadmap. And all they do is just kind of give you a slap on the back and a go get them tiger. And then you're just kind of hoping for the best, right? Sound familiar? And it's very foreboding and scary because when you're in a hundred percent commission, you would you kill with no safety net. You know, the impact of not having a plan is rather perturbing. And it's a huge peace stealer because if you're used to having a steady paycheck, if you're used to making a certain amount of money to pay the bills and live a certain lifestyle, when you don't have a plan, all of a sudden now you're chewing up savings. All of a sudden now you're getting yourself in debt, jacking up your credit card or living on your LOC or all of the above. All of a sudden now there's undue pressure, financial pressure on your spouse who's having to toe the line financially because you can't figure out how to make the money to toe the line yourself. And that for, especially for dudes is a very castrating, kick in the nuts experience especially if we have an ego, we have a healthy sense of duty for being provider for the home. That hurts. You know, when you're used to slaying dragons for the family and all of a sudden the wife is having to go get a job and go out there and slay dragons on the front, front lines and deal with all that stress of, you know, making a paycheck because, you know, you can't figure out how to get the money coming in. That hurts. On the flip side with, uh, you know, our females in the house, you may find that it's exceedingly difficult if you have young kids, if you're raising a young family, you know, sacrificing time away from your kids and your hubby uh, with fruitless toil and feeling like you're losing in business, you're losing in your career with fruitless toil, sacrificing time away from your family without really having any fruit from your effort. And then when you're with your family, you're feeling 
like you're not showing up the way you're called to be as wife and as mom because you're so obsessed with trying to fix the problem with your business that you're not really present and you're not really you know, you're the best version of yourself is not showing up. Maybe you sh you're showing your fangs a little more than you'd like. Maybe that you're just losing your peace more than you'd like. Maybe you're a little snappier than you'd like. Uh, maybe uh, you're just feeling like you're not being the present, heart connected, generous mom and wife that you know you're called to be capable of being and your family is deserving of you being. And so that creates the you know cul-de-sac of guilt, shame, inadequacy, self beat up. And that's just a special kind of suck. Perhaps you can relate. Perhaps you can relate to someone uh, in this career in the mortgage space who's dealing with that plight themselves. It's a very common plight, unfortunately. So lack of a plan looks like working way too long for way too little. It looks like getting a bunch of craps that, crap leads that don't convert. It looks like having to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. It looks like having to spend 10, 20, 30 hours just to get one measly lead, most of which aren't con aren't converting. Tire kickers, looky loose, you know, and and uh, rate shoppers. And so a lack of a plan is just the guinea pig wheel where you're spinning your wheels, banging your head against the wall, going nowhere, slugging through the muck and mire of mediocrity with concrete blocks on your feet. So if you're in that place, my heart goes out to you. I mean, I can't tell you how many mortgage professionals have come to me for that very reason, because they're sick and tired of getting their ass kicked. They're sick and tired of meandering without a plan, without a roadmap, stepping on landmines, getting appendages blown off, and wasting time they can never get back. Time away from family, time channeling their life energy, their life force into really getting the 747 off the runway and it continuing to go nowhere because for whatever reason they keep pressing on the brakes instead of the gas that's frustrating as hell so if you're in that place my heart goes out to you and i feel your pain and you're certainly not alone that's a big reason why smart ambitious growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us is to fix that problem and kick that problem in the teeth once and for all so you're in good company there but obviously not having a plan is not going to help you and doing more of not having a plan and just continuing to flail in the ocean splashing around in the ocean is not going to get you to dream island we need to have the proper technique we have to have the right game plan we need to make sure you're propelling in the right direction otherwise just being delusionally optimistic and telling yourself you know it's just a phase it's just a season you know people told me it's going to take three years before i'm ever going to make any decent money this is par for the course no What's par for the course is if you're doing it the hard way, it's going to be hard. What's par for the course is if you're showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife, you're going to get bludgeoned. What's par for the course is if you keep meandering in the wilderness unarmed and naked, you're going to continue to get the same old results you've been getting. Now, can you start to get a little better results? Sure. But is that what you want is just a little better results? Chances are not, right? You didn't get this business to just have a little better results, did you? You didn't get in this business just to eke out a meager existence in I can't afford it prison, did you? So doing more of what doesn't work and has not worked is not going to help you. That's the, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's not going to help you. So that's what lack of a plan looks like. It's just stress, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, worry, sleepless nights, debt, Fear about debt, fear of the unknown, fear of the precipice that's coming at an ever-increasing rate if they don't get it fixed, like all of that. That's all the suck of not having a plan. So I think we beat that dead horse. Let's talk about the next landmine. Landmine number two is a plan that sucks. Okay, so you might have a plan, but it sucks. And chances are it's not your fault. Chances are the reason why your plan sucks is because your coaches suck, your mentors suck. Your sales managers suck. I hate to break it to you, and I'm not meaning to be rude, but the shit that worked for them 20 years ago just doesn't work anymore. And if they're delusionally optimistic enough and naive enough to think that it does, they're out, out to freaking lunch. It's a new era. It's a not new era, not just because of a pandemic, not just because of COVID, but the market has evolved. The shit that worked 20 years ago doesn't work anymore. 
for a multitude of reasons. Like rate sheets and donuts don't work anymore. Cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors doesn't work anymore. Uh, just, you know, showing up to open houses for the most part doesn't work anymore. You know, just showing up at, at real estate offices doesn't work anymore. We've got to be more strategic. We've got to be up with the times. We've got to be cutting edge, leading edge instead of trailing edge and bleeding edge. And unfortunately, most of these sales managers, company owners, and managers are still in the dark ages. They're still operating from caveman methods from the dark ages. And then you wonder why it ain't working. So it's not your fault, but chances are, if you're not getting the results you want, it's because your plan sucks. You know, you're doing all kinds of scrambling to do something that you think is smart, like posting five posts a day on social media, because that's what everyone else does. And so you're doing a bunch of activity, but it doesn't translate to productivity. You're cold calling a bunch of realtors. It's a bunch of activity, but it doesn't translate into productivity with them being receptive, them being open, booking, up, booking appointments, those appointments turning into solid partnerships that actually send you consistent business. If you're not getting consistent business from those meetings, then your plan sucks. I'm, I'm not here to be rude or you know to just be abrasive for abrasiveness sake. I'm here to just call it tight because I care enough about you to call it tight and call a spade a spade. And so rather than just, you know, just glossing over it and sugarcoating it, I'm going to tell you the straight truth that your plan freaking sucks. Because if you're getting sucky results, your plan sucks. It's as simple as that. Now, there may be uh, a rare occurrence where your plan is freaking awesome, but you just have lackluster implementation. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But the lion's share of mortgage professionals who struggle in this business, the reason why they struggle is not because they have a kick-ass plan. It's because they have a shitty plan. And... They might be doing a great job at implementing a shitty plan, but it doesn't matter how great you do at implementing a shitty plan, you know, just working longer and harder and putting in more effort on a shitty plan is like putting lipstick on a pig. At the end of the day, it's still a pig, right? That's not going to help you much. So we've got to get you a better, more strategic, up-to-date plan that's actually going to work. And what that looks like is stop following the herd. What that looks like is stop doing what everyone else is doing. What that looks like is stop doing the me too marketing. You have, you have great rates and great service? Me too. You cold call 40 freaking realtors every Monday? Me too. Uh, you do five social posts uh, a day, just throwing yogurt to the fan? Me too, right? If you're just following the herd mindlessly, chances are you're going to be mediocre because guess what the herd is? Mediocre. 80% of people get in this business, get chewed up and spat out in the first two years. Those who manage to survive, they only make 75K. And that's before tax, not after tax. Something tells me you did not get in this business to make 50K net after taxes, right? With all the stress, all the uncertainty, all the sleepless nights, with the fact that you don't know where the next deal is going to come from. I mean, you're almost better off being a barista at Starbucks at that rate, right? At least you know you got a steady, steady paycheck and you don't have to deal with all the stress and the sleepless nights. If you're going to work in this business on 100% commission, you might as well get freaking rich, right? Best way to help the poor is not be one of them. So another reason why... You're not getting the results you want and you're working longer and harder for less is because your plan freaking sucks. And let's just call it a spade a spade instead of pretending it doesn't. You know, it's like the fat guy who says, I'm not fat, I'm just big bone. No, you're freaking fat. And until and unless you embrace the truth and tell yourself the truth, you're never going to have the rocket fuel in your rocket to fix it. Softening the problem is not going to solve the problem. The way you solve the problem is face the eye of the tiger and realize you can't change your reality until you face your reality. Some people, they think that, you know, facing reality is being a pessimist and peeing on the parade and, you know, stop being so negative. No, I'm just calling a spade a spade because if you're heading east looking for the sunset, we got a freaking problem, right? You're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. We got a freaking problem. Just call a spade a spade. That's not pessimism. That's called accurate thinking. Most people think that that's pessimism. No, that's why you're getting your ass kicked because you're whistling in the wind, heading east, looking for the sunset and wondering why, why it ain't working. That's called delusional optimism. That's not going to help you either. It's time to realize that the butter knife at the gunfight is not going to bode well and to roll up the freaking tanks because you will settle for nothing less than tanks, period, end of story. There's something about you getting to the truth of your situation and owning the truth that gives you power to change it because... You get to the point where you just say enough is enough. No more. I've freaking had it. I'm done with this. It's the magical, powerful rocket fuel combination of disgust and resolve, right? When you get so disgusted with the situation, 
You get so disgusted that your, your plan freaking sucks. You get so disgusted that you're underperforming, that you're wasting time, that you're spinning your wheels going nowhere. You get so disgusted while you're watching other people kicking ass, taking names, living your dream while you're on the sidelines, picking up crumbs. crumbs. You get so disgusted with that situation, knowing that you're called by greatness for greatness. God didn't make any junk. He didn't start with you. You own the fact that you're capable of more. You're called to more. And this is no longer going to do. Once you get to that point, now you're ready to change your life. Not by pretending it's not there. Not pretending it doesn't suck, but owning the suck of it and getting real about it and getting heart connected to how much it freaking sucks to spin your wheels going nowhere. Once you get to that point, now you have the magical alchemy of transformation, disgust and resolve that allows you to draw the line in the sand and say enough is enough, no more. I've had it and freaking done with this. Not one more day like this. I'm done with this. It's time to kick this problem in the teeth once and for all. Now you're ready to change your life. That's called calling a spade a spade. That's called accurate thinking. That's called taking ownership of your life and getting yourself into the light of truth with your situation instead of living in delusional optimism. As Jesus says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. What he didn't say is at first it's going to piss you right off, right? What he didn't say is it's going to take some courage to do that, to face the eye of the tiger. What he didn't say is it's going to take some courageous vulnerability to own the suck of continuing to go on the trajectory you're on. That takes courage. It takes vulnerability. Most people aren't willing to go there, and that's why most people get their asses kicked and never get equipped soon enough to get the 747 off the runway. I hope that's not you. I hope you're, I'm rattling your cage today to wake you up because I care enough to tell the truth, not gloss over it, not soften it, not sugarcoat it, but to call it tight. I care that much to call it tight because I, I see so many talented, well-intended, gifted human beings get their ass kicked in this business and crash and burn in this business and be buried under a big, dark pile of debt because they never got to the point of defiant resolve. They never got to the point of telling themselves the truth. They never got to the point of upgrading their butter knife or their pea shooter for a tank because they kept telling themselves the pea shooter eventually is going to pan out. They keep telling themselves, if I just weed this pea shooter or this butter knife a little harder, a little longer, eventually it's going to pan out. No, it's never going to freaking pan out. That's called the definition of insanity, friends. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's crazy talk. The people we work with, is they realize that they've already done it the hard way and it ain't working. And doing more of that is insanity. They're intelligent enough to know it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes than to learn from an expert. That's why they hire us, because they're sick and tired of trying to reinvent the wheel. Have you gotten to that point yet? Or are you content to continue banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels, doing it the hard way? I'm not here to tell you what the answer is. That's on you. But if you get to the point where you've just decided enough is enough, no more, I've had it, I'm done with this. Now you're ready to change your life. Now you're ready for us to help you. And the last landmine I want to highlight today, landmine number three that causes so many mortgage professionals to work longer and harder for less is they have the right plan, but they have the wrong execution, right? So that's kind of like the people who come in, come in into our program occasionally where, you know, they think that just because they've invested in a program that, and just because they have world-class uh, elite level coaches and a battle-tested proven plan that just by... You know, the fact that they made the investment that, uh, you know, all of a sudden there's going to be a big dump truck that drives backs up to their house and dumps a big pile of cash over their head. That's not how it works, right? Our system works when you work it. It works like push-ups. If you do your push-ups, you're going to get stronger. If you sit on the couch eating bonbons watching Oprah, you're going to get fatter and weaker. Same thing here. It works when you work it, just like push-ups. Unfortunately, most people are not willing to do their push-ups. Unfortunately, mo most people are more committed to their excuses than they are to making progress. There's not much we can do to help for people like that. They haven't gotten to the point of defiant resolve. They got to the point of, you know, rationalization, which is rationally lies to their mind and procrastination and excusitis, right? Where it's like paralysis by analysis or excusitis, where there's always an excuse. I don't feel like it. I'm not in the mood. I'll do it tomorrow. Minana syndrome, right? Minana. I won't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow, manana, right? And so there's always an excuse because they've misconstrued 
the fact that the journey, the path to success is going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Everyone wants to be fit, rich, and happy. Most people are fat, broken, unhappy. Why is that? Because it ain't easy being successful. It ain't easy being extraordinary. It ain't easy being a top producer. You're going to pay the price either way. You're either going to get good at planting seeds in the spring or you're going to get really good at begging in the fall. Either way, you're going to have to get good at paying the price either way. As Jim Rohn would say, you're going to pay the price of either regret or discipline. Either way, you're going to pay the price. Discipline weighs an ounce. Regret weighs a ton. Either way, you're going to pay the print, pay the price, but obviously regret is 10x, 100x, 1,000x more of a cost than making a bold, intelligent, strategic investment in yourself and then paying the price and going all in because all in is the only way to win. If you keep pressing the brakes every time you get a little bit of momentum and you're trying to get the 747 off the runway, that's not going to bode well. That's not going to get you off the runway, friends. we got to go full throttle in it to win it, which means no excuses, no yeah buts, right? Far too many people are held back and get in their own way because of the yeah buts. Dorn, your program works for other people, but my people are different. Dorn, your program works for other people, but you know I'm in the East Coast, or I'm in the West Coast, or I'm in the South, or I'm in the North. This program works for other people I can see, but you know not for newbies. Or this program works for other people, but I'm a veteran. I'm different. Right. There's always an excuse. The interested, they'll always find an excuse. Those who are just interested in making champion money, they'll always be an excuse. Something too hard, too difficult, too inconvenient. It causes them to buckle like cheap lawn furniture, shrink back in their comfort zone, stick their tail between their legs and retreat. But those who are committed, they always find a way. That's why I say I'd rather run with the few than drag the many. We don't work with the interested because they'll always find an excuse. We work with the committed because they always find a way. So. It's not enough just to have a kick-ass plan. You got to be in it to win it. You got to play full on and full out. You can't be half-stepping. You can't be pulling punches. You can't have the yeah buts. You can't have the proclivity to continue to say yes to your comfort zone when you know your comfort zone is just going to keep you stuck. Your dream life is always going to be outside of your comfort zone. That's why we say here on Planet Prosper, you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's how champions roll. So if you're listening to this and you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I appreciate your straight shooter, truth talking, calling it tight. I appreciate you just not sugarcoating it and just keeping it real. And if that's you and you've gotten to the point where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of getting your ass kicked or spinning your wheels or underperforming and realizing that other people are kicking ass and taking names, they're no smarter than you. They're no better than you. It's just that they have better marketing, better systems, or better coach, or all the above. Or they just got to the point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired where they just decided no longer to make excuses. Winning happens when losing is no longer an option. Have you got to that point yet? Because until and unless you get to that point, there's not much I can do to help you or any of my team members can do to help you. Frankly, there's not much anything anybody can do for you at that point because if you have the right plan, but you're not all in for that plan, it's not going to help you any more than having a great Lear jet fueled up, but stuck in park, park mode with the emergency brake on is going to help you get from where, do you, where you are to where you want to be. That's not going to get you into the jet stream and into your dream. We have to remove the emergency brake. We got to remove the excuses and the yeah buts, and we got to go full throttle so we get to that critical acceleration where the law of lift has you supersede the law of gravity and you take flight, you get off the tarmac into the jet stream and into your dream. So if you feel like you're in that place where you're ripe and ready to receive your breakthrough, if you feel like you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, of spinning your wheels, if you feel like you are to the point where you've got a good healthy dose of disgust and resolve, where it's like enough is enough, no more, I've had it, I'm done with this, I'm ready to step up and start making prosperity money. You're sick and tired of grinding up the 20 story staircase with a 50 pound backpack, you know, busting your buns, doing it the hard way when you can just press the P button on the elevator and go straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money. If that's you, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. On that call, you're either going to get with me and one of my consultants. We're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to go. If we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like. And if not, frankly, I'll be the very first 
first person to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you're going to leave that meeting with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we're going to have some fun along the way. Sound good? So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, and you're committed to adding at least an extra 100,000, 200,000 plus to your annual income, not someday, but immediately like yesterday, and you're ready to start working smart instead of just working hard, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash forward slash apply. It's not a sales call. It's a shine the light of truth call. It's a breakthrough call. It's about seeing if we have the right fit to help you. It's about diagnosing your situation to see if you're someone we can help and someone we want to help. Frankly, some people were just not the right fit and we can't help them or they're just not in the energetic frequency where we want to help them. Either one is a valid reason for us to tell you to pass. So please don't get it misconstrued that this is a typical sales call. I promise you, you'll get more clarity on this call than you've ever had in your life. And frankly, if you need to be sold on making freedom money, you're not ready to make freedom money, truth be told. So just calling it tight, calling a spade a spade. If we have to sell you on living your best life, you're not ready for your best life. So we're not here to sell you anything. We're here to see if we have the right fit and see if we can help you. So if you're ready for that, if you're open to that, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Well, guys, my name is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. I trust you got some insight. I trust you got some new awareness on the landmines you want to avoid. And so just make sure that you steer clear of these landmines. Landmine number one, lack of a plan. Landmine number two, your plan sucks. Landmine number three, you got the right plan, but you have the wrong execution. All three of those are landmines you want to steer clear of. And I trust that just the awareness of them will help you to steer clear of them. If you want an expert in your corner to shine even more light and to give you more competence that breeds confidence such that you step into your superpower self, your champion self, to get you making champion money ASAP, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's all we got for today. Be blessed. We see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.